I'ma show you how to twerk the wheel. Two fingers bending corners of block, stand still. Cops on my heels, but I'm beating down still. Chrome on my lap for these jackets out to kill. Feet size should kill. Honest Cowboy upcoming mixtape dropping August 8th. Uh, the title came about just me uh, being in search of uh, myself and search for my father. You know what I mean? My father was a cowboy, um, someone who lived that life, you know, and just me being a fan of um, the whole lifestyle of a cowboy, I found a lot of similarities in um, rappers and cowboys, you know, how they go out on frontiers and just really put themselves out on the line to provide for their families. And I found it unique and I found a story, you know, um, of my father, you know, who had left, you know, the family at a, when I was at an early age because he had to basically, you know, um, seek a better life for himself, being that he was caught up in and out of jail and um, on drugs. So, yeah, that was basically it. You know, that's just an inspiration behind the title and behind the music also, you know, me just digging in my personal life. It's kind of like searching for that ancestry to figure out, you know, the reason why I am the way I am and um, the things that I like and just uh, the artist that I'm becoming, you know, and the man that I'm becoming. It links to the album because this is more of an album before the album, more of the introduction to the album. Uh, like I said, this is some personal music. It's not the most personal music because I'm saving some for the album, but it's definitely a good um, temperature tester for you know the audience and for the listener to really get into my life and get more personal with me. Um, you know, my music is always uh, myself and, and it is more personal, but I'm trying to bring people really into, you know, my life. And as I'm doing that, I'm learning a lot about myself, too. Uh, the album is pretty much, you know, I would say 80 to 90 percent done. So, um, yeah, it's on the way. My all time favorites, uh, I would say. You know, all the Outkast records, um, from Southern Playlistic to AT Aliens. Um, also, uh, I would say Illmatic, Nas, Resurrection by Common. Um, who else? Uh, Chronic by Dre. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, the list, I can keep going, but those are just some that stick out in my mind that I, I ride around to right now and listen to, and um, of course, you know, style music all across the board. <laughs> oh man, it was beautiful to return to the hometown for this video. This was my first big budget, big major video. Um, working with Scarface, the legendary Scarface was amazing. Going down to Houston, Texas to the Third Ward where he had grew up. Um, just to see that side of things too. It's just a blessing um, to again have somebody like that be a part of the record and to be able to give um, a visual to the record in my hometown so you can see, you know, all of the car culture and the history that I always speak about in my music from my, you know, small town of Ohio, Masson. And um, yeah, so the video's here. Make sure y'all check it out if you haven't. Killer come a tipping up the air and catch a nigga slipping, then beat you for your shit and put the um, It's all of me. Ohio is a big part of me, a big part of, uh, you know, just me growing up and becoming the man that I am. So I try to incorporate that into my music as much as po possible, whether it's, um, you know, stories that I've went through um, growing up or stories that I've heard from older family members or brothers or cousins or whatever. Um, and then, of course, you know, that car culture that we have in Massa. I try to bring that whole tradition into the music. Oh man, when I experience Ride the Block, I just kind of sit back, pray a little bit, um, try to relax, zone out a little bit on something else, maybe read a book, um, and just, you know, or maybe go for a ride, go for a walk and just try to clear my mind a little bit because, you know, being an artist, well, me being an artist, I can get, kind of get caught up in my thoughts a lot. So I sometimes need to take a second, walk away for a minute and just kind of um, relax myself. I'ma show you how to twerk the wheel. Two fingers bending corners, the block stand still. My role is 
you know, it's a big role because, you know, um, me being, you know, a different type of artist than everyone else and, um, you know, just kind of standing out on that forefront of, um, you know, being a lyricist and being an everyday man, um, you know, it's very important that the world sees that side, you know, beyond the glimmer and the glitz of things, um, just see the, you know, the reality of it all and see, you know, someone that they can look in the mirror and relate to. And um, I think that's what I bring to the picture. Um, biggest lesson learned is just be yourself. Um, stay consistent and persistent and um, always outwork everyone else around you. <laughs> My thoughts on DJ Khaled. You know, I was late to that. I, I don't know where I've been. I guess I've been on the road and in the studio. <laughs> but uh, I was really late to the proposal. But, uh, hey, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know how to feel about it either. I mean, hey, I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, words of wisdom is just, you know, again, be you, um, be consistent, persistent, confident in everything you do, um, believe in yourself, and uh, that's it. Simple and plain.